Heidi 8 Bimlink lets you pull data from an Autodesk Revit file into Excel for editing and then push it back into Revit with equal ease. This short video demonstrates just one of the many ways Bimlink can be used to enrich your building information model. Bimlink can be used to manage construction sequences in Revit and Navisworks Manage or Simulate. What if your project scheduler and your Revit modeler could work together more seamlessly? In this example, we're going to take a look at a Revit structure model. We're going to export some data and manage the data more efficiently in an Excel spreadsheet using Bimlink. In any Revit project, you can create custom parameters. There's in a shared parameters text file and they can be loaded to your project. In this case, it's called task name. It's brought into the project and then within the project, the task name can be assigned to any category of information. So underneath structure, what we're doing is picking structural members, the floor and parts. I already added some values for the task name. So you see if I pick on a column, you can see the task name was assigned as column level 001. If I pick on a foundation, foundation level 001. It's very useful to use view filters to give visual confirmation of the grouping of building categories. If I type in VG, you can look at the view filters. And the view filters really have a name, framework level 2. They have search criteria and apply to specific objects. Structural framing, task name equals framework level 2. They can then have color assignments so you can color code those objects. They can be turned off in a view so that you could show the sequence of construction. For example, if I turn on the columns level 1, framing level 2, framing level 3. The benefit to me here is that I can use these to set up my views for exporting to BIM Glue or to Navisworks. The downside of this is really that I need to be inside Revit to do it and that there's limitations in the use of Revit schedules. You'd have to be proficient at Revit modeling and be inside a Revit project before you could do things like select objects and assign or remove the task name on the properties palette. You see the color coding has disappeared. You can do it also on a Revit schedule, but Revit schedules are lacking the kind of functionality that a spreadsheet has. You can pick the rows, you can pick from the drop list of the task names, but this gets very old very quickly. There's a real benefit from having the view filter feature as part of the Revit model since we can color code according to task name and we can create the individual views for export for use in Navisworks. So for example here I'm just looking at the framework for level 2. And now we've got the option of being able to export to BIM Glue, either lists of views or publish to Navisworks to get the NWC files we need for our timeline or model. My bottleneck in this whole process is the fact that I have to do this inside Revit. So I could select the columns on the top floor and I could go and I can remove the task assignment. My way around the bottleneck is to let someone do the task assignment outside of Revit. And to do this, I'm creating the BIM link spreadsheet. From here, I can look at samples that are provided for many different disciplines. If I look at the disciplines available, I can pick the construction links. And on the construction links, I can see that there is actually a construction QTO, quantity takeoff. It's going to give me a list of the building elements that are probably going to be used in the 
construction sequence. I can remove ones that I'm not interested in, so I'm going to remove things like railings. I'm just going to limit this more to the structural members, the floors, no walls. If I hit the checkbox that says hide unselected, you can see I've got a fuller list. And for example, where I have something like concrete pours, where I divide up a floor into smaller pours, that would be parts inside Revit, so I can add parts to that list of categories. Now, I hadn't used the, uh, the uh, task name yet. Just before I go there, I'm going to sort the output spreadsheet according to level name. And then I want to sort according to task name. And you see that you can now use the task name parameter and its values and put that into the BIM link spreadsheet. So I'll just reorder the columns. So I've got level name and task name at the top. That'd be from left to right. I can see a preview. I'm going to now sort first by level name and then by task name. Say done. Export that out to my spreadsheet. Give it a name. Remember this is just structural. Navisworks Timeliner. Now anyone can open that spreadsheet. I'm opening it from inside the project but you could this it could be someone just opening the spreadsheet. Now for the structural columns on level 5, I can use spreadsheet functionality like copy and paste or dragging down and maintaining the, the value. So copy cells. And I can make my task assignments outside of Revit more quickly. So I just save my spreadsheet then from inside Revit, anytime I want, you can import, select the spreadsheet, bring in all the data that was added. And if you look at the columns on the top, you'll see that they change to take on the color of the view filter. So the assignment was done in a very short time and from outside of Revit. You can take the NWC files exported from Revit and assemble them inside Navisworks in the Timeliner module. You could even use the property of task name to help you associate the correct objects. Another advantage of this approach is that you could take the items created by the project scheduler in the Timeliner module and you can export that as a spreadsheet. So you see if I look at all of the tasks associated with the assembly sequence. That can be exported as a spreadsheet. And then, for example, you could take any additional tasks like stair assembly and put them into the Revit spreadsheet by copy and paste and then assign them to objects in that model. Both the Revit modeler and the project scheduler using Navisworks were able to collaborate using BIM Link to better assign tasks and check for construction sequencing. If you're interested in what you've seen, why don't you try downloading our free trials from id8software.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.